This is a short video that shows the capabilities of the Perkinama RX1. So what we're now going to do is using Spectrum 5.3.1 uh, software. So what we're now going to do is uh, run a background scan. So if we just have a quick look here, scan background. So we're now going to do a background scan. Uh, so it starts with 400 to 4400 wave numbers. It's uh, 12 scans at a resolution of 8. So we'll now start to run a background scan. It's, uh, today's date is uh, February. We're in February, whatever the date is today. Uh, okay, so we can see the um, background scan here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run a sample of polystyrene, which has a pretty unique spectra. You can probably see. Hopefully you can see that there. So we can see it uh, 3027 and 1601 and 907 etc. So what we're now going to do is press overwrite in there. That brings it up. Hopefully you can see that there. Right, what we're now going to do, there are the manuals for the RX1. What we're now going to do is place the sample in the sample holder. And then we'll run the sample. Again, resolution of 8, 12 scans. Here we go. What we should see fairly quickly is the telltale uh, spectra of polystyrene. And yes, there we go. You can see the three peaks here. You can see this here. So this is exactly what you would expect to see. So this is the Perkin Elmer spectrum. Um, software 5.3.1 with the Perkin Elmer RX1 spectrophotometer. Uh, we also supply uh, an assortment of different uh, parts, slides. So if we have a look here, you can see here this has got the sodium chloride crystals in um, and a variety of other uh, sample um, there. We also provide, um, we also have available at the moment, an ATR accessory. This is a Specax Silver Gate with a heated uh, plate here. This has got a zinc selenium crystal. Have a quick look at that. It's in reasonable condition. Uh, it's fully operational and in pretty good order. So hopefully this gives you uh, some sort of an idea. Thank you.